I'm Morris Levy, co-founder and CEO of The Yard, and I'm watching Word Backstage. This is Stephanie Renee with another edition of Word Backstage, and this brings us to Center City, Philadelphia for a new, uh, we could say hospitality and tourism, but certainly a night spot that you are going to want to visit. It's called The Yard, and with me is Morris Levy to tell us all about it. I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here today. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, well, today's a big day because it's grand opening for this beautiful new facility right right here close to the corner of 11th and Chestnut. So tell us about the thought behind why here and what you intend to uh, kind of present as a part of the Yard's offerings. So we started the Yard in 2011, and two years ago we opened a location on the corners of 32nd and 6th in Manhattan, and being down the block from Penn Station, we thought it was natural for us to be in Philly. This is a beautiful five-story facility. Tell us a little bit about the thought behind opening and constructing it in this way. So the Yard is a co-working facility, and when we look for a neighborhood, we look for a lot of different things. One, transit, which is, has great transit, uh, great places to eat, uh, fun bars. Uh, we have some great um, great restaurants coming in on the ground floor, Luke's Lobster and Honey Grove, and you have Moms across the street. So it, the, the area is just a tremendous area, and it really has the feel that we look for when we, when we look for a neighborhood. And the building itself and the transformation that the landlord delivered was, is remarkable. I mean, there's a window in every office. Uh, the windows are not small, they're big windows, and there's a ton of light in the space. I would say that 90% of the offices, if not more, have a window. And everybody wants a private office, everyone wants a lockable space, but everybody wants a window. So how do you see yourself positioned in terms of what kind of tenant you're looking for, who you want to see fill up this space? So let me just start and go back. One, uh, May Kenny was here today, this morning, for ribbon cutting. And he's all about uh, what's going on in the, t in the tech world. And it's not only about tech. Well, you know, the yard at all its locations is really um, a mix of industry that's going on in a specific neighborhood. And it's hard to uh, imagine what's going to be here because once people start to move in, right now it's a beautiful space with high ceilings and windows and art and different art artists on every floor. Uh, but when the people move in and the members are here on a daily basis, the space starts to come alive. So what I would like to see is, I mean, what, what I've been seeing, and I've been to a couple of events uh, in uh, Tech Week last week, and the entrepreneur community here is really a tight-knit community. It's a great community, and uh, we're happy to be a part of it. You might consider opening up another one here or other markets where you're considering expanding? Absolutely. We're already looking at a couple other sites in Philly. Um, we are opening in Boston and we're opening in D.C. as in, in addition to the nine locations that we have in New York. Um, so where I see this going, this is the new way of working. This is the way that people work today. Um, taking uh, your own space and, and, and worrying about paper in the machine and coffee and the electric bill and, and, and the insurance and, and, and the manager to run the space and everything from the toilet paper on. I mean, who has time to think about that? So this is the new way of working. Right now we're calling it co-working. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in a short time, I would say a couple months, maybe a year or two, it's going to be the office, this is my office, and that's all it is. It's a, it's a great office, it's a modern office. Yeah, well, you know, WURD has been looking at this idea of what the business models are and how we uh, draw people to understand what's next, what's happening, how they get in on the ground floor with this. So what advice do you have for people who are gonna get a chance to see our uh, chat here and get a chance to see some clips of the facility about what they need to do to take part in this space? Just come in for a tour. You can, you can uh, book a tour online. You can just come in and see what's available, see, what's, see, what, see what we have to offer. And, uh, you know, especially today, there's a lot of people working from home. There's a lot of people working from coffee shops. The number one, the peop the number one reason that people join a co-working space is, uh, that we've seen over the last six years is that they want to be part of a community. They want to be part of a culture. They want to see other companies succeeding because success breeds success. So they want to be a part of that. And at the Yard, we really are into the success of our companies that are, that are with us and, and celebrating that, that success. And working from home and working from a coffee shop is, is sometimes is, is necessary and sometimes it's efficient. But when it comes time to having that community side and coming in and seeing people every day and feeding off of the energy 
uh, and the vibe in the community is really what this is all about. It's about culture and community. Patrol. Couldn't have wrote it wrong. Maybe they quoting wrong. I appreciate your patience. It won't be long.